Hi folks, Tim here again from High End Cheap Tech. We don't have a lot to talk about this morning. We got something though, and that something is uh, the Mi A3. You know, it's a pretty cool phone on uh, you know, some levels, and uh, on others it's not the coolest phone on earth. So I will explain what I like, what I dislike, and. Uh, uh, and that's that. Uh, I'm just checking some stuff here. All right. So we're going to talk about this and what's good, what's bad, uh, what annoys me, and what doesn't annoy me, surprisingly. Uh, be right back after the intro. Let's get to that now. All right, folks, I'm back. Um, I dug through the box today that the Mi A3 came in to get started. Uh, we'll go over the pros and the cons of this one after that. Um, and uh, um, you know, I found the. It's still got the USB-C cable in there rolled up and the power, you know, the charging thing. Because I've got a high-speed charger over on the counter over there. Mm. It also does, incidentally, work with one of these cool magic tags. You stick that on the back, use this USB-C port, and wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. You are charging wirelessly. On a phone that didn't come with it, if you just can get through a whole day and just want to off you go to the races. But I did find one thing in there we need to talk about. You know, a lot of people overlook these. This is, damn, the uh, uh, TPU case that comes in the box. And these get overlooked during unboxings. I mean, the first thing I did is slap that Ferralismo case on. Now, it's not a bad case. Huh? It's TPU. It doesn't have really much of a lip in the front, but the front has a tempered glass screen protector, and it is almost smooth back here. You know, so there's not anything raised on the camera, so you're better off leaving it face down if you've got the you know, screen protector on it. Uh, and I actually reinstalled the initial installation of the screen protector. And I got it almost too high there, as you can see around the front-facing camera, but it doesn't interfere with shooting at all. Um, this thing will shoot 30 frames per second, 4K video, if you wanted to, you know, use up all your storage area. If you've got a micro SD card in there, which I do, uh, you'll be fine. Although, you'll never be able to actually see it that way on this phone. This is a 720 phone. But it's not a bad case. It's got a cool feature here, whereby we, we got a little flap back here that you can open and see it's got a plug on it right there. And you can just close it. And it clicks in there. And it's going to keep all the dust and dirt out of that if you tend to keep the phone in your pocket. Uh, the cameras on here are stellar. They're fantastic. Uh, EIS works fairly well. Uh, and all the way up to the 4K, 30 frames a second, whether it be the wide angle, the rear 48 megapixel, the... Uh, Front 30 megapixel, all those work. So it's not bad. I'm not sure if it has a front facing flash though. I don't think it does. The phone we're shooting on the Mi A2 absolutely does. We just don't use it because I got a fill light here. Uh, still photos on this are excellent. 
<coughs> I just wanted to go over that camera thing. And I'm going to gather my thoughts. I'll be right back. And uh, we're going to talk about what I like and don't like about this one so far. Okay. So let's start off with things that annoy me on this one. First and foremost, and I thought it'd be the notch. You don't even notice the notch most of the time. It's this thing, the ultimate gimmick. How many times so far? There it goes. See? Absolutely no excuse. Plenty of room back here. Drill a hole through the damn glass and put a fingerprint reader in there. See, even the Redmi Note 8, as bad as it was, uh, as far as software went, had a rear. And I would have, that's the reason I would have had that as my daily driver if they ever got it to work. But, for example, like the notch, I thought I was going to hate this notch up here. But let's go up here and start pulling down. And you just, you don't notice that it's not in your way. You know, it's not hanging down on the display. You don't see it in games. So, that's uh, something that turned out not to annoy me. Uh, let's see. Oh, and the biggest thing that annoys me, we're still, still months after the initial release of this, sitting on Android 9. And Xiaomi has a tendency to lie. Yeah, first it was, oh, it'll be out late January. It'll be out early February. It'll be out early March. It's now March 20th, folks. Where the hell is it? Well, we had some issues with the release in India. How could you have issues with straight Google? I mean, how hard is this to do? Oh, you. Y'all need to get your heads up your ass. That is a major annoyance. Yeah, that display, it'd have been nice if it was 1080p and AMOLED, but at this price, you're probably not going to see that. The Snapdragon 665 versus the Snapdragon 660 is a BA2. Eh, I don't see any difference in performance. As a matter of fact, there's certain things. The Snapdragon, you know, 660 does faster than this phone. Uh, yeah, Those are, that's all that annoys me about it. I mean, it's still totally usable, 100%. It's, you know, it's a lot. You, you look and it says it's going to be 6.1 inches, but because of the notch and all that, it just, uh, it's a smaller overall phone. Uh, it's a good phone. And uh, once they put Android 10, if they don't screw it all up, it'll be great. They just needed to lose a few things. Now, stuff I love about this phone. Okay, first, let's just start. Every one of these camera shoots at 4K, 30 frames a second, with EIS. Simple as that, as far as video goes. Whether it be the wide angle, the uh, 48 megapixel shooter, and of course the output from the 48 megapixel ends up being 12, uh, which is no different than the Mi A2 we're using, which is 12 to start. Uh, you can, though, shoot in 48 megapixel. And the night mode on here, it actually has a night mode. It's pretty damn good. No, it's not flagship quality. But you can go out to your neighborhood. And, you know, I did when I took some nighttime shots. A few videos back, and it's really good. I liked it. And, uh, 
the EIS works relatively good. You're, you know, it's not going to look too jittery, that's for sure. So, that's the good stuff. Uh, and, the, you know, the three cameras on the back are just stellar. You don't get the macro lens on this, but you don't need a macro lens, folks. I don't know about you, but I, I've gotten over that whole thing, you know, focusing in really close on a bug's eye, getting that terrorized look just before I crushed him like a bug. And so, and I don't care to see the veins and leaves, you know. If I want to do macro photography, you go get a real, you know, camera with a real macro lens, not a cell phone camera. Zoom is okay on here, up to about three times. Works pretty well. Oh, uh, let's see, what else? I don't know. Overall, I still give this one a thumbs up, so I still have it. Uh, so I don't use the uh, Mi A2 anymore. And believe me, folks, I really like the Mi A2. If you can get a hold of one at a cheaper price than one of these, you'll get your Android 10. It's a good solid phone. The only thing it has that doesn't work is something that does work on this phone. Notice how... Let's open this up. Oh, did you hear that click? Yeah, that's nice. And hit off. You get that nice positive click. So if you're putting it into your pocket, you just hit that and you'll hear it. And it's loud. And so, that's nice. Me too. Never been able to get the touch screen. It's not hard. The touch sounds or any of those clacks to work. Every other phone I got, clack, 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 clack. Just like they're supposed to. Now that may go away when we get Android 10. I didn't have 9 on the Mi A2 long enough to know that. So, well, I guess for this whole thing, without breaking into coughing, nothing like jinxing yourself. I'm still short of breath, still got fever, don't feel well. But that's all I have for this morning. This is being shot at 1080, 30 frames a second. Use an open camera so we can use the external mic. Oh, I forgot. There are other things. Yes, headphone jack. Headphone jack. And, of course, you get the IR blaster. Something you don't get much anymore. And, you know, your other mic. Your speakers aren't bad. These... The sounds that come out of this, the notification sounds, you can hear them. Uh, you know, if you're over at your neighbor's house and forget your phone, you'll still hear them. The microphone, internal, pretty damn good. I still prefer to use, you know, a mic that I can turn my head and walk away and, you know, do various things with the phone. And that's that. So that's all I have for today. If you found this the least bit informative, useful, or even mildly entertaining, or cough-free, give us a thumbs up. Share the video with everyone you know. Like it. You know, well, that's the same as a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to the channel. You don't have to watch every video, but you might learn something. That's all I have. Now we go back to the Impo selfie stick and hit the remote button. Catch you in the next one.